some of you want to know about my lab. How do I get my lab? What do I use? What type of software do I use? Um, so of course everything I, I do is, is open source, right? So it's free, that download. And the service I use is Joe's Data Center. That's what I actually use. So um, if you want to go to Joe's Data Center, you just click on, you know, use Google Joe's Data Center. Let me show you a couple of things on how it works. Um, let's assume that you want yourself, you want to have a lab yourself, right? You want to do all this daily dally stuff, right? Which I get it. Uh, you want to learn, get an IT job, um, make the big bucks, um, all of the above. So here's, here's what I actually did. I'll tell you what I did, right? So I just go to Joe's data center and, um, it's a little different. I mean, the site's pretty okay, right? Um, but I clicked on order now and then after order now you have, you have like uh, dedicated servers, you have the co-location, and then you have uh, the VPS. So what I did was I clicked on uh, dedicated servers. And when I did that, um, I have all these servers I can choose from. So for instance, I choose, I actually bought the $120 one, which is like a two, one terabyte data store, or not data store, but um, hard drive. But I think it's been hacked because I didn't put any antivirus on it, right, basically. So I'm going to actually be um, deleting that and getting a new one. So it's okay if I show you the IP address. What do you do, right? So so let me show you what it looks like when I log in. So this is me being logged in. I logged in, right, under my um, service, right? So I'll click on Services. As you can see, um, this is the server I have, and these are the products I have. And um, monthly, you know, it's active, right? Of course. And um, I've, you know, of course, used it a, a while. It's a really good product, actually. It's good for labs, whatnot. So we're going to pretend like I'm going to buy a new one, and I'll show you the process. So let's pick one. Let's go to a good one. Let's say $27 one, 8 gig of RAM, 120 gig hard drive. Eh, that's a little less. So let's go with the mid tier. Let's go with the 16 gig of RAM one, right? 500 gig hard drive. Let's do that one. Hmm, no. Let's do the 24 gig um, memory for $35. Let's do that one. I'm not going to actually buy it. I just want to walk you through the ordering process. So I'm clicking to order now. So from here you have um, what I usually do right is I usually choose as my OS operating system. I use choose um, VMware ES6i host. I've also done like the Windows right it's a little more money right by the way you know see that. Um, so I think and this this one I I probably could also do um, Fedora. Uh, the whole idea is to install like uh, VirtualBox on a, um, the Windows uh, server. That's the reason I did it. Um, but I think I'm going to do I'm going to do like Fedora. I don't think Fedora is listed here, but I could just ask him to install it. I may actually choose um, may choose what Linux. Let's choose Ubuntu here actually. Let's do the version right there. So I have, they, you know, you give you give five IP, five usable IP addresses, um, 33 terabyte of um, um, bandwidth. I don't ever touch that, by the way, and I run this thing all the time. So anyway, and then you click OK or you click Continue, and then you pay. You can pay with PayPal. So people who don't have uh, credit cards, you can pay with PayPal. So that's nice. Um, yeah, this is a really good service. So I use it. I've used it for a while. That's what I use to create my lab. So um, I don't know that I, you know, can say any more about it, but it's a good product. So thanks for uh, watching this um, little video, short video, and uh, have a great day.